Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture dealing with Tobacco's Growth Mindset in Classrooms, focusing on teacher mindset. Uh, it's based on research by Canning in all 2019. There are at least two factors who contribute to mindset. Students, obviously, but also the teachers and professors who, who, who they learn with. Um, fixed mindset set professors had racial achievement gaps up to twice as large as courses with growth mindset professors, so please keep that in mind. Um, Members of different min uh, racial minority groups fare differently depending on how, how the mindset of their professors. Uh, students from racial minority groups in classes taught by fixed mindset professors, A, significantly underperformed similar students in growth mindset classrooms, B, reported being less motivated than those in growth mindset classrooms, and C, thought professors were less likely to emphasize learning and development. So those are all negatives. Uh, cultural stereotypes can also rear their ugly heads. Fixed mindset beliefs may cause cultural stereotypes. For example, white and Asian students, um, there's an old stereotype, which is a, a terrible one that they are more naturally gifted in STEM than other students from other groups. Uh, an unfortunate uh, consequence of this is that stereotypes can become more salient and hinder student performance. Um, gate, there are gatekeepers of science. There are traditional ones. Uh, as an example, here's this quote. Because older white men are stereotypically depicted as gatekeepers of science, Fixed mindset beliefs may be more threatening coming from them because they seem like the gatekeepers, like the original holders of knowledge. So that that, that that's the perception. Um, B, however, fixed mindset beliefs were found to be just as damaging regardless of professor identity. So whether they're older white men, they could, um, if there's something else, that's also problematic. Um, in contrast to that, the educator's race, gender, teaching experience, and tenure status had little to no relationship with the classrooms a racial achievement gap when taking my uh, mindset beliefs into account. So, so it, it like like there's nothing determinative. It's more of the attitude of the the professor, and uh, how she or he conducts her classroom. Uh, quote, faculty mindset beliefs predicted student achievement and motivation above and beyond any other faculty characteristic. So based on that again, whether it's fixed or growth is particularly determinative of student achievement. From all of this, we were left with this Twex big question. How do we create as educators at the post-secondary or uh, K to 12 level, how do we create environments that emphasize growth and, and improvement? If we create those types of environments, our students will, apparent, according to Canning and all, we, their work will be better. That was uh, Twex growth mindset in classrooms, specifically focusing on teacher mindset. Thanks for watching. Take care. Look forward to seeing you again soon.